So what is the purpose? What is the reason of learning Hawaiian if all you would talk about is Hawaii stuff? Right? No makes sense. I fell in love with I wanted to learn Arlelo because I like the stuff my Kumu was telling me about. The first assignment Kumu had us read. Okay, read. Beginning Hawaiian, okay, first first year Hawaiian, high school level. He has us reading David Malo. And of all things, he's having us read about the death of the Mo'i on Hawaii Island. How the Tupapa is going to be brought one direction. It, it should go straight, but no, somebody went connive and said, no, we don't go this long way. Because the, the reason is there is this there is this loophole in, in old couple that if you bring the dead body of the Mo'i through the districts, it, it becomes all any of its couple becomes nullified and it gets thrown back into the pot and they can make a big hui aina and then they can kalai all over again. And that if that happened, there is this parcel of land in Kona called the Palimanuahi, Palikeowa, where you get one family's bones hidden there. And it's always been theirs. It's never had to get thrown into the pot. It was set aside to be theirs, only theirs. Because Umi wanted to bring his ohana with him and became Mo'i. And the kahunas and chiefs said, no, no, you was baka ainana then, they don't get any, they don't get any benefits. Only, only after you marry with the P. Okay. So he said, well, shit, I gotta take care of them. I'm gonna give them this Aina Ali'i. Forever and ever and ever. Well, you know, Kumu they us read this story and I don't realize the full context of how this is going to affect the rest of my life and my career. How I'm gonna end up at Pu'u Kohola. <laughs> how I'm gonna fall in love with a Poi Poi girl. Okay, because Kiyabe Poi Poi is that way. So anyway, so, you're reading this, I'm going, Okay, I, you know, I can read it. I don't know. I don't comprehend. But he 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 explained after. The next story is a, the next story is about uh, Liho Liho and Kumamalu passing away in in Britannia. I don't realize again. There is a connection to Pukohola all over again. Um, and if you want to take it even, what's the what's the what's the subtext of that? Is it's older brother, younger brother. Balance of couples, when the younger can kick out the older, when the older has enough sense to say, no brother, you know, kick back, kick back, kick back, don't get involved. And um, how that plays out. But so, <clears throat> you know, that's the kind of stuff I was exposed to. I, wanna, I never like learned about. What's the word for phrase as opposed to sentence, as opposed to clause? Hopuno olelo, mama olelo, blah 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 blah. I want it content. I want I want ek. I want information, not just labels. So, um, I was not gonna be in the immersion school. Eventually, you know what happened? We we started our own charter school. I had to go teach uh, Hawaiian studies for uh, for public school kids, and I realized I have no. I never go to school to be a teacher. I do not have what they call classroom management skills. Um, I try to teach these these monsters like the way Michael would talk. If you know, if you like fuck around and you don't pay attention, I'm not gonna teach you. You don't like, I'm not gonna need them. Never work. They never care. <laughs> but um, so I'm still on my you know my kahiko route with my little flash of. Uh, Kokiaone action. Uh, speaking of Kokiaone, so um, you mentioning <coughs> this this word Kelaula as a name, how it got to your family before the song, and um, I want to go back on that because um, Kamehameha schools again, you know, how seeing Hailama the resident, um, they wouldn't give me my own class right off the bat. Now Mahalo because was that girl I was dating in college. Who got me that job up there? You know, her classmate was working in the office. They she slide me in, um, but they wouldn't give me my own class. After that, they said I had to team teach with um, a kupuna. I said, Oh, kupuna, I like kupunas. They got yeah, you gotta teach you a kopeo. Kopeo panu. I said, Okay. I, you know, I don't know what to expect. You know, I'm thinking, I'm thinking oh, I'm a big man. You know, white man, or whatever. And this, this, this small, tiny, dark man with, with he looked like Dracula. 
he looked like Dracula. He's like a tiny little Dracula to me. I walk in and he's very soft spoken. And I go, oh, wow. Okay. He, he hasn't impressed me with his level, you know. Um, he gets to class and all the ladies love him. The aunties, the grandmas, he, he's just, he's, I guess, he was, uh, he's just handsome apparently. He's also a Hawaiian stud man and um, very popular. And then, you know, I, I, you know he, he starts to share with me these, these kinds of stuff like, really? Like, Manapua comes from Mea Onupua'a? You wouldn't know that unless you was there at that time. And Hana Okolele, Ee Hana Ko Okole, you wouldn't know that from what we get now unless you was there back in the day. So, you know, Uncle Bill had this great weekend. And then, um, yeah, he, he, he recognized that I love Kupuna stuff, right? So he goes, ah, Kalama, I'm going to share with you a tape. I have a tape of my, my Kupuna, the one that raised me. So I listened to it. Uh, the gentleman's name is Panui, Louis Panui. If you go look in the Bishop Museum, he is the first interview conducted on their files by Flora Hayes. Panui was um, Uncle Bill's great-grandfather. This is a reoccurring theme because the best male Manaleos was raised by not their grandfather but their great grandfather. Kamuela Kumukahi is another. Kamuela Kumukahi, who by chance you never know this until I went slam his finger in the door and poor kid said, I'm gonna send you home. And he go like this, and I realized this is for baby girl, that it was baby girl, his sister, who married a Kabigon. The estranged brother from my grand from my father's side who we fight, they feud, they broke up, they don't see each other anymore. The rest of the other side of the Kabigons were married to the Kumukahis. But um, so. Uncle Bill is raised by his great grandfather, Louis. And, um, and he's got the. Uh, if you've ever read Kamakau's Ruling Chiefs in Hawaiian, you go, that's pretty awesome. If you listen to this tape, you realize not only did this man know the Mo'olelo, but he told the Mo'olelo often, repeatedly. He had up with it. The way he recites it, he doesn't just tell it, he almost recites the story. And you just go, wow. Wow. He's a, he's a badass. That's badass Ike. You know, I, I chased that kind. The next person I want to go chase was Oulu Konanui. I said, oh, he's, a, he's my hero. And I put Ukohola and they go, come on, go check that guy in. Who's that guy? Jerry Konanui. I go, Jerry Konanui, you relate to Oulu? He goes, I'm, I'm uncle. Oh, my heroes, I love you. I meet Bill Ayla, I go, who's Louis Ayla to you? That's my grandfather. Oh, I love you. You know, your grandfather, Papa Ayla Louis, is the fastest recorded Hawaiian ever speaking. You know, Niao, they speak, they have the heart, but you know, they also speak. Louis Ayla was just all the time. And he used to hang with Johnny Almeida, who was all like, he spoke really fast, but you know, you cannot, you cannot speak over Yokumu, so he had to speak everything, he had to speak real fast. But, um, so, Uncle Bill gave me this tape and I listened to it and wow, awesome stuff. And that year Kumu's Lake, they're gonna have Kamehameha competition. Kumu Lake says, Kalama, um, I cannot go, I gotta go something. Can you go down and do the opening chant? So it's on it's on Vai Water so. Short term memory is awesome, right? I can I memorize them, I go down there, I'm ready, and I see Uncle Bill. Hey Uncle Bill, aloha. He goes, Kalama, ah, aloha. He wants to introduce me to his wife. And I'm walking over there and I see, I go, wow. I see, I see, these, I see these different people and I get this pretty Portuguese lady. Beautiful skin, nice girl. And he said, Kalama, Kawahine ke ya namahana. And I went, ho. Ho, you are the star, damn. And that year they're going to sing, he love it. They're, they're going to dance Ilave. The Makahasan's going to do um, Louis' version of Ilave. Because, you know, different people say that, you know, they wrote it. Well, most people will say, oh, you know, oh, Sam Lee, because they love Eric Kamai and they hear that story. But unless, and you know, you don't know what he but unless you, but I know someone personally who was, my, in a way, my mentor who whose great-grandfather said, I wrote, this is the story. These are the extra verses. So, I believe that one. And, um, so, Uncle Bill, tell, you know, he, he ends up writing, you know, another song, Makasan, because Boone is his nephew, apparently. Makasan doesn't know how, but he's in Kona. How does this work, you know? 
what he works out, then you know, Uncle Bill working for the boss. Moon is always at the that's you know God over here. So I okay. And um it's Behia Kialaula. And you listen to the imagery and you go, wow, this is beautiful. These all these like ancestral names, you know. First time you're doing a Hawaiian ballad with these old Kahiko Kupuna names. And And Uncle Bill explains to me what the song is about. And he says, I started to remember. I started to remember when I was a little boy and my grandfather used to put me on the back of the horse and he would take me to this place. And he would go in the, you know, in the, in, in the, no more nothing there. He'd take a bush. And he'd go to the bush and he'd move the bush and it's a cave. And he'd go in, I wait outside, and he'd come out, and we have his kupuna. And he would boil them, keep them clean, you know, and put them back. But it was a memory that he, you know, he totally forgot ever happened. But it started to come to him, and his kupuna was calling him. So, mm. and that, that's the veheya kialaula. That's like, that, that's in the most beautiful sense. The light bulb go on, bing! But it's just splendid and magnificent, like. So, um. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 